Hi, this is David from Dave's Digs. Uh, with this video, I wanted to show you how to change the color of a subject. So right here, this is something we shot in Amsterdam with a tulips. And uh, what I wanted to do is just change the color, obviously. So that's how I'll show you how it's done. Basically, here's the image without the adjustment. Um, what, what we want to do is uh, whenever we make these changes, I always try and work with the adjustment layers. That's a little yin yang symbol down at the bottom of the layers palette. If you click on that and go to hue saturation, and that will pull up the actual palette for the hue saturation. And on this, what you're going to want to do is just basically pick the color you want to change it to. So you can grab the hue slider and just slide whichever direction you want to go. You can go to the red version or pink or green or whichever, whichever area you like to go. And then just close out of that. And once you have that, what we're going to do is we want to change it back to the color it was before. So we're gonna change the actual layer here where we're gonna flip flop it. So we're gonna go Command I, which is the inverse. And then basically we have our original image back. We still have the adjustment, but it's covered up by the black because black conceals and white reveals. So what we're gonna wanna do is make sure we have our, our paintbrush selected, make sure we have white selected in the foreground, and then zoom in on the subject and we'll just pick one of the flowers. And what we're gonna to wanna to do is just paint one of these flowers with white while we're on the actual layer mask. So we have it selected, our brush is at 100% opacity up here. And then basically what we're gonna do is just basically paint along the, the flower. We're using a fairly hard brush on this just so that we don't have a lot of uh, bleed off here. And then we're gonna go in and just kinda of make it red so we're just going through here i'm not doing a great job i'll just kind of do a quick job and just kind of show you how it's done you can come come in here and kind of fine tune it a little bit get it a little closer um, what's great about the about the layer masks is if you screw up let's say that was an accident you can basically flip flop the color here by either flip flopping it here or you can actually push the letter X. And what that will do is if you put paint black on black, black conceals. So what you can do is kind of go here and just paint black over the mask. And it makes it really simple to go back in and kind of fix any issues you have. And then once you have it, oops, I kind of, let me go ahead and fix that a little bit. That's kind of bugging me just a little sticking out too much, even though this is quick. There's a, basically you'd want to spend a lot more time on this and get it just right. Um, I'm just kind of doing it quick here. Uh, so what you what you can do, what's really cool about the the layers uh, adjustment adjustment layers is you can come back in here and click on here, and br basically it brings the palette back up. So if you decide you want to change the color, you can just basically grab the slider and slide it to a different color. So that's pretty much how it's done. Uh, real simple technique. Uh, what you can always close out of here, save this as a PSD file in layers, and you can always come back to this and adjust it layer, later as long as you have it separated in layers. So that's what's really great about the layers, adjust, the adjustment layers in the palette. So if you have any questions, please give me a shout out, a comment on my page. I'd be happy to answer anything I can for you. Thanks so much for your time.